Transfer rumours again. A tale of two keepers. Uh, yeah, that's right. Two keepers. One in, one possibly out. Uh, quite a bit to get through. Uh, things I've seen uh, on different social medias. So, we'll get straight into it. Um, yeah. Ali Eistead. I think it's a, a player that we're all wanting to see at Barnsley Football Club. I think the player himself wants to be at Barnsley Football Club. Um I'm led to believe rumours and stuff what I've heard and what I've um, read is that is possibly in talks still or as agent is with um, the board members that be, the powers that be, to make the deal permanent. Again, I think the vast majority of fans are all wanting, you know, Addy to be here as our players are read for next season. And I'm one of them. I think it's heroic somebody were doing last season. When he came in on loan, unfortunately to Brad Collins, um, he didn't rel re relinquish the jersey. He carried on, um, got his to Wembley. And again, full credit to Brad Collins up until that moment. You know, unfortunate at time, but it had he proved what a capable uh, keeper that he is. And he did a job and must have been an hard decision for Duff to, you know, make, knowing that Brad had been his number one for quite a bit before that. So, yeah, Addy Eistead, I think we're all wanting and it's looking that it is, fingers crossed, barring any hiccups, there will be a, a red. Again, on about reds, before I get on to the next goalkeeper, uh, just congratulate John Stones, a Barnes lad come good in academy. And again, it's always great to see a, a local lad make it, you know, come our way through ranks and to be where he is now. Not only a, a great human, but he never gets his roots. Local lad, humble lad, hard work, dedication, pays off. And not only is he an accomplished central defender, he's looking like an accomplished defensive uh, deep line midfielder as well, what we saw in Champions League. So, ask after John Stones, anybody, you know, uh, related who knows him and all like that. And I think we outpour uh, congratulations on social media again. Testament to our regarding how well thought he is with many fans and people connected with Barnes Football Club as well, seeing a local lad come good and make it. And uh, as after him, at well desires to, he deserves all plaudits for the gates. So we're coming on to another goalkeeper, Brad Collins. I've read somewhere on social media, some, uh, some Twitter feeds and stuff like that, but possibly... Brad Collins is interested in Huddersfield Town. Whether there's any meat on bones of that, I don't know. You know, um, would a lot depend on if we're unsuccessful getting Ari Eistead? Would that like scoop of a deal or, you know, rumour deal uh, that Brad Collins might be on his way out? He's got, a, I believe, the uh, end of his season, not end of 23, start 24 season, this is his contract art. A bit similar to Mads. So again, Brad Collins rumoured, you know, in Oldersfield linking him with him. Possibility. Could you see it happen? Yeah, but you, you know, we wish him all well. Um, whatever bit of money we can get for him, would you? I don't think you can begrudge him that for what he's done and served at club. But if that is the case for Harry, looking like he's going to be his number one, if it all comes off, Brad Collins being linked. Rumour to be linked with Huddersfield Town, possibly with some other championship clubs knocking about as well. Uh, looking around Brad's situation, knowing full well that he has been the first team and has dropped out packing order to be number two at the moment. So, again, would there be agents and that involved? Possibly the player himself might think now it's a time to move, a bit like Jack Walton. And again, the time comes when it's down to either down to player or the agent himself and think, yeah, now it's time to make a a fresh start. So, Brad Collins, rumours linking with his full time, possibly over championship clubs as well, looking. Um, and again, before I go, there's going to be a giveaway as well. Um, and again, these are from sponsors and the Patreon members. If you want to be a Patreon member, enter into the draw. It's going to be a giveaway. And it's been donated, kindly donated by Dave Warwick, one of the Patreon members. And it's a print. I don't know if you can see it. A beautiful print, limited print of 30 as well. I think it's 5 or 30. Yeah, 5 or 30. Beautiful print. 
by Barnsley artist Neil Richardson. Fantastic print, that. Uh, and this is for the Patreon members and the sponsors. Uh, HG Plumbing, who donates every month uh, with you, without your help, you know. Uh, it, this channel would be possible, but it would be more of a struggle to make it possible. Um, Barnsley Sport, again, an affiliate of a, a Tax TV who helps uh, put my content on his on his uh, channel. NK Boxing Promotions, a, a local lad. Um, again, just helping. Cars Construction, again, uh, contributes. Brown Bear Comedy Club, uh, keeps uh, in, the, in the area for turns and that in, in clubs. I up and down, we all know the fanzine, great online content. So again, and the Patreons. If you want to be a Patreon member, I know Cost of Living, I don't know if you can see it yet. I don't know if you can see uh, the link below. So yeah, it's a giveaway. A giveaway. Uh, and to be in it, you've got to be a Patreon member or a sponsor. And again, thanks for everybody what has done it. Um, and if you want to be a, a Patreon member, I don't charge for exclusive content. I know there's other... Uh, football uh, sites, what do uh, you know in championship and stuff like that? And it's unfair to do so, but uh, one pound, three pound, or five pound a month, every penny helps. It really does help. I know there's a cost of living crisis, and I fully appreciate that. And it's just if you, if you do want to contribute to the channel in any any small way of it, you can. Um, it all goes into upkeep with the editing software, uh, with the subscriptions and stuff like that. What I do uh, to keep content. On the channel, it just helps me out. And again, uh, there's a giveaway in that beautiful print. If it is that it's someone local, I will try and arrange collection or delivery uh, local. If it's someone who's not in the area, I will post out at my expense um, to make sure it gets to you safely and undamaged. It's a fabulous print, uh, really, really nice. And it is a limited print as well to 30. Limited print to 30. And this could be yours. If you want to join up to Patreon, uh, it's not too, it's not too late. And again, it's, it starts from a pound a month, uh, pound a month, five pound up to five pound a month, and every penny, it does help. And again, I'm not making it a begging uh, plea. I don't like that, but if you do, I fully appreciate it. It's, it's not exclusive content to any members, but any members that do, any sponsors that do, help me out with the channel. We'll get into prize draws like this, and you could get a fabulous. Fabulous print like that. Thanks for that. So, yeah, getting back to uh, transfer rumours, uh, let me know your thoughts. You know, I, th I think it'd be an interesting one. You know, Brad Collins possibly could be going out if we get any ice dead. If you don't get any ice dead, could you see Brad Collins staying? A lot of, you know, ifs, buts and mebbies. I've already signed one central defender, uh, Kasper Wapata, uh, central defender, Polish, under 21, under 18. Uh, international, he's a red. Uh, might be a few more irons in the fire, a few more deals to be done. But again, a lot could be dependent on what's going to be happening with next week or two. Pre season friendlies have, have been announced. 22nd of June, I will be doing a live special. Um, I know Barnsley Sport, I've um, put it on their, their website as well. So again, John Stone's local lack on good. Keeper in, keeper out, and for Patreon members and sponsors, you've been into the draw. Please join up. All links will be in descriptions below. From bottom of my heart, it's uh, mean, going to mean a lot. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Have a good rest of your weekend. One thing left to say: you reds. <laughs>